we want to find the solution to the equation x minus three halves equals one eighth. The solution is the value of x that makes the difference on the left equal to one eighth. In order to solve the equation for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, and because the x is on the left side of the equation, our solution will be in the form of x equals some number, again, where this number minus three halves equals one eighth. In order to isolate x on the left side of the equation, we don't want this minus three halves here. To undo minus three halves, we need to perform the opposite operation of the inverse operation to both sides of the equation. And therefore, to undo minus three halves, we need to add three halves to both sides of the equation. For this example, though, instead of showing the addition underneath the equation or showing it vertically, I'm going to go ahead and show it horizontally because we have fractions. So we'll add three halves to both sides of the equation, which would give us on the left, x minus three halves plus three halves equals on the right, we would have one eighth plus three halves. Now looking at the left side of the equation, the plus three halves undoes the minus three halves. Or we can think of this as negative three halves plus three halves, which would be zero. So now on the left side of the equation, we just have x equals on the right side. In order to add the fractions, we need to obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which should be the least common multiple of two and eight. And because eight is the least common multiple of two and eight, eight is the least common denominator, and therefore we need to write three halves as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of eight. And because four times two equals eight, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of three halves by four. Notice now we have x equals one eighth plus this would be twelve eighths and therefore our solution is x equals thirteen eighths. When adding fractions with like denominators, the denominator stays the same and we add the numerators. So again our solution is x equals thirteen eighths. Before we go though, let's check our solution by substituting thirteen eighths for x in the equation. So performing the substitution, we would have 13 eighths minus three halves equals one eighth. Now let's find this difference. The least common denominator again is eight, so we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of three halves by four. So we have 13 eighths minus 12 eighths equals one eighth, and 13 eighths minus 12 eighths is one eighth, one eighth equals one eighth is true. Verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.